first we start with I like to start with a layer of our spread of the sauce spaghetti sauce uh, this way helps keep the noodles from sticking to the bottom alright I think that's enough try to spread it out as best we can but when the heat takes it and stuff anyways it's gonna also spread itself alright and just a little little sauce just a little and then we're gonna make layer with the fish all right yeah I just don't want to get too messy I try to spread it out evenly Hopefully this is enough to make three, at least three layers. Let's see how we could make that work. And then go with the cheese. Good, I love it when we get a lot of cheese. It's gonna be so chewy. <laughs> okay. And a little bit, a little bit sauce. Yeah, things can get a little bit messy here. Looks like we're gonna run out of sauce. All right. Now for the next layer. Okay, just a little bit right here. For the next layer. Three and one four. Okay, I'm gonna finish up off camera and then come back when I get to the final stage before we put it in the oven. Okay, so I realized that I forgot was to boil my noodles, so I unravel everything and basically starting from scratch so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put everything back together off camera that is now that I've put the lasagna back together again I had some extra stuff and I decided I'm just gonna lay it on top you know uh, some extra cheese and sauce and fish and so we are ready for the oven and that should be 
in the oven. This should be in the oven for uh, 45 minutes, but give and take a couple minutes. It might be in the oven for less than that time. Let's see what happens. Well, it's time for the oven. And uh, it's now 8.25, so by 9, we start looking to remove it. Uh, so I'll, I guess we'll see you then when it's done. Okay, so after 35 minutes in the oven, I decided to take it out and see if it's cooked. And it's very much, so I'll probably give it another, say, five minutes or 10 minutes, but it tastes pretty good. And with that, thanks for watching.